A lot of engineers and technical professionals that we work with come to us saying, I want to be the CEO of my company. I want to be the department manager, the division manager. They're so focused on where they're going to end up that they're missing out on how they're actually going to get there. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me John Camp. John is an established leader in the industry. He is the president and COO of CNS Companies. And John, you've taken an approach in your career where you didn't focus on kind of the endpoint or getting to COO. You took another approach. Could you share that with our audience? One thing I never did, it just kind of my natural approach to things. I never, I never look too far out ahead of things. Um, for better, or for worse, I'm not a planner. Um, I, I, for mostly out of out of luck and my natural personality, early on in my career, I was really focused on what I was doing, and I wanted to do a good job at everything I did, mostly because that's just kind of who I am, and right. So if you do that, if you focus really intently on what you're doing do a good job not not overdo it but do the job that's necessary focusing on creating value in that one space if you take that approach to everything that's going to take you in a direction that will give you all the opportunity you could ever want right if if you focus and do well on every task that comes to you and then allow yourself to be given larger and larger tasks that's going to happen right if you start doing things well people are going to know about it they're going to come to you and and you're going to be you're going to be uh respected and well thought of and and you're going to have more opportunity than you could want if you focus on what you're doing do a good job and not think too many steps ahead right focus on where you are uh focus on the day that that that'll take you a lot of places um it'll take you as far as you want to go yeah, I would agree with that. And I think it's a really important thing to focus on in your career, which is why I, I wanted to have John talk about this a little bit, because I do feel like a lot of times when you say, you know, I want to be the CEO of my company or the department manager, the division manager, you're getting way ahead of yourself and you get away from the good habits that you need to have on a daily basis. Um, I recently read a great book written by Bill Walsh, who's a you know, famous NFL coach who's passed on since, but he, he took over the San Francisco 49ers. I think they had like two wins the year before. And he ended up winning the Super Bowl with them within a couple of years and went on to win a few Super Bowls. And people would always ask him, like, how come you never talk about, you know, winning or winning the Super Bowl? Because basically his belief was if we do, if we develop good habits from through every level of the organization and we're doing them every day, then on Sundays, the score is going to take care of itself and we're going to win and we'll end up getting to where we want to go. And I feel like that approach is very similar to the approach that you're saying, which is show up to work every day, be the best at what you're doing, drive a lot of value. And if you do that, then, you know, the score will take care of itself in terms of where your career is ultimately going to go, because there's going to be a lot of opportunities there for you. And I just think that a lot of professionals I talk to are you know, going into their reviews and saying, oh, I want to get to this level. How do I get to this level? How do I get to this level? And it sounds like for you, John, that that has obviously worked pretty well. Yeah, I, winning a Super Bowl or rising to a high level in an organization, it's not about chasing shiny objects or trying to skip steps, right? It's you have to build every layer on the foundation below it. Otherwise, it's just not going to work, right? In any consulting firm in our industry, there are a lot of smart people, right? They They know what you're capable of. They know what you're made of from a, uh, personal standpoint, uh, they know how you behave. I mean, it's there. There are no steps steps to skip, right? If if you if that's your mindset, you know, if you're only focused on the goal and not the process of getting there, your success, your chance of success goes way way down. Well, John, thank you so much for taking some time to share this advice with our audience. We really appreciate it. Happy to do it, Anthony. I hope you enjoyed that message from John. To me, it's one of the most important messages that we can share with professionals in the world of engineering. Many of you want to get to leadership roles, but that's not how you're gonna get there by just focusing on that. It's focusing on the process, building your technical skills, building your people skills, building your project management skills day over day over day, and your career will blossom. Please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis 
to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.